Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to my crib, the world of Joel. Tonight I thought I would share with you an unboxing of a, a few records, a few vinyl records that I received in the mail today um, from an exclusivity deal that Billy Joel has with Walmart, uh, Walmart and Walmart.com. Right now it's on pre-order. They have released six of his albums, of his prior albums on vinyl, re-released them on vinyl um, with colored vinyl. Um, those six albums are Piano Man, Stranger, 52nd Street, uh, Glass Houses, Innocent Man, and River of Dreams. And today I got three of them in the mail and I just opened the, the box. I'm pull them out and we're going to do an unwrap and a little play test. Uh, but the three I got are The Stranger, Piano Man, and uh, 52nd Street. So I'll show you a uh, Let's start with the Piano Man. I'll show you a little close-up of view of that. This is what it looks like in the shrink with the little Walmart logo there. And then next up is, uh, let's see, in order, is the Stranger. 50, uh, stranger there with the sticker. And finally we got 50 Second Street. So that's the 50 Second Street covers look pretty much the same as the stock album, the original first pressings, which this is a first pressing album here, 50 Second Street. I'm sorry, I didn't pull out, that's not 50 Second Street, I pulled out the wrong album. That's Turnstiles. Oh, that's the right album in the wrong order. That's 50 Second Street. This is a Piano Man album. And this is a, again, turnstiles. So now if you're familiar with original releases, you know, like on the turnstiles, the sleeve looks like this. And the vinyl is black, as is most vinyl. So what's nice about this release is this is the first time Sony CBS Columbia has released, uh, well, not the first time, but the first time in the U.S., because I think this is a U.S. only release, um, Billy Joel's vinyl on color outside of a licensing arrangement they had with another record label called Friday, Friday Productions, Friday Label, I don't know, Friday Music. So they released over the past 10 years a number of albums uh, with different colors. They had the bridge, they had um, you know, a few others. They had uh, different colors, they had Streetlight Serenade. Those were all colored releases, but through Friday Music that was licensed out from CBS, Sony, Columbia, Sony. But these are the first time um, that they are issuing them uh, in the US on their own label. Um, but there was one other time that Billy Joel did come out in a colored vinyl years and years and years ago. It wasn't in the U.S., but uh, it was a Spanish release uh, down in South America. I believe this was in South America. So I'll show you this record right here, which was actually a single of You, you May Be Right and It's Still Rock and Roll to Me. Release on red vinyl. You can find this on Discogs or you can hunt around for it. But uh, it's got the Spanish writing on it right there. And over here. And I always thought this was pretty cool because up until, you know, the past 10 years, there was no Billy on, on colored vinyl. And I always thought it was cool. Like, why didn't we have colored vinyl? I don't know. It just would have been cool. I'm actually looking forward to one day, hopefully next year, the 30th anniversary of River of Dreams. It would be nice to have the River of Dreams album cover as part of a picture disc um, release, maybe for Record Store Day. That would be really nice, a picture disc, Record Store Day release of River of Dreams next year. But we'll see. So we're going to open this up. And here we go, 52nd Street. We'll start with here. Let's just take a first look at this. I'm excited. Smell it. Oh, before I even take that out, there is, that's right, I forgot, they have posters in these. Check it out. 
12 by 12 poster. This is the one that comes with the 52nd Street album. Nice, very nice. There. Looking more at the cover. Um, let's see, the back of the cover looks pretty much the same as the original release. And the sleeve insert looks pretty much the same as the original release. I'll have to do some more inspection, but upon first visual looks, it looks pretty much the same. Probably uh, the same sleeves that came out with the box set a few months ago. Let's take this out. Let's take a look. Oh, very nice. What I would like, what would really be nice is to have uh, one of those pet plastic sleeves like the uh, Mobile Fidelity sleeves with these um, would be really nice. This is really nice. Uh, this looks like, it looks really cool. It's like the, almost looks like my bowling ball just in a flat circle. I have a bowling ball with all these different color swirls on it and everything, but this is pretty cool, I have to say. I can't wait to play this. And the density pre feels pretty thick. I don't know. Doesn't, it might be just a little shy of 180 grams, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely feels denser and thicker than possibly what came with the, uh, the box set, which would be nice if this was 180 grams. But uh, it feels it might be a few grams shy, not sure, but still it's uh, got a lot of density. It's not uh, flimsy like the standard releases so if you're looking for a stable record you know obviously you want to have a record that's um as flat as you can get which is why you would want a 180 degree or something close to that heavy vinyl record because when they're pressed they uh they're more resistant to warping and uh, you know you get less wool and flutter on the turntable i'm not getting into too much technical detail but this is pretty cool so that is 52nd street pop that on the uh the turntable soon See, next up, we'll take a look at the Stranger. Stranger, as you can see, the back looks pretty much the same as uh, as the original Stranger. And if I do a comparison with, oh, did I pull out a different album? I thought I, oh, did I take, I got the Stranger. I thought I got Turnstiles 50, no, I got the Stranger. I don't know what made me think I got Turnstiles. They didn't release Turnstiles on the colored vinyl they released uh they released the stranger so i apologize for uh, that mistake earlier but this is the stranger and let me open this puppy up As it comes out, this is oh, you got the poster, which looks like a uh, almost identical but different exposure or printing of the sleeve. So that's your poster. There's your sleeve with the liner notes. nice this is in a gray color and obviously if you notice the colors of the vinyl are pretty much in line with the colors of the record sleeves so they complement each other if you look at them so obviously the Billy Joel stranger record sleeve is uh, black and white and the gray swirl color mixed color album complements that very nice this has very nice density to it looks very flat will play very nicely we'll give that a give that a spin very nice and then finally we have up is piano man we'll take a look at that
And the Piano Man album looks just like the original release, except it's got the sticker on there for the exclusive Walmart agreement. And you can't buy this anywhere else but Walmart as that's how it goes, I guess. So finally, the U.S. gets something that Japan doesn't get, which is usually the other way around. Japan usually gets all the good stuff, but nothing against Japan. I just wish we could get more releases here in the United States that were just as nice. But there we go. There's the poster that comes with the stranger. And there's your sleeve. Pretty basic. And that's part. I'm sorry, did I say stranger? I meant piano man. It's late and I'm excited to play this. Pull this out. And this one's a little interesting. This one is almost clear. Looking at this, it's got sort of a beige yellow tint to it. Oh, you can see it really well. I'll show it up right over here like that. Pull it away. Almost looks like a gold, a goldish orange brown silver. And I guess that complements like that photo pretty well. I'm not sure, but let's take a look at the cover again. So if you look at the cover of Piano Man, um, his eyes have a, if I recall, the eyes look like they have a little color in them. I never really looked that hard, but uh, you know, the it's like a sepia tone look on the photo, so I think the, the vinyl resembles that sepia tone image, which is nice. So we are going to give this a spin as well. I'm gonna have to do a, uh, uh, I have a scale. I'm gonna measure these, these records later and uh, let you know how much they weigh and compare it to the records that came with the box set. So I'm gonna, put this on pause right now and then we're going to go over shortly to my turntable and listen hey just a quick update i had to go back in and edit out most of the second half of the video because i was playing music which is copyrighted and uh wasn't allowed online so uh, i edited out the music just show you a few shots of the uh the record spinning on the turntable and uh okay so we're back and uh we're going to be listening to the records here on my uh oops, there we go my uh, system and uh, see how it sounds and give it a uh, give it a thumbs up maybe we'll see let's take a look all right so I'm just gonna place this here and let's grab 52nd Street which happens to be one of my favorites and I love the blue vinyl Side two, side one. All right, let's pop the on. This tone arm up. Line it up. Okay, so let's turn this uh, here and let's get some action, shall we? Okay, we're gonna give Zanzibar. We're gonna give Zanzibar a shot only because uh, not as loud. And uh, my one complaint I noticed when I was trying to cue up the track on the colored vinyl, it's harder to find that gap between the songs on the on the lines, you know, the record grooves. But I don't care because in real life I'm not gonna be looking for tracks. I'm just gonna play the whole the whole vinyl all the way through. Maybe we can do the TikTok video too. And we're back. We're going to put on the Stranger album and listen to the track Vienna. So 
You got so much to do and only so many hours in a day. So here we are, Piano Man. And uh, we'll run the first track, which uh, is Travel in Prayer. That's it. Anyways, take it easy. Listen to Joel. That's all I got to say. Ciao.